Well, you guys, today we're taking a look at some awesome new Windows 11 features coming real soon in 23H2. Now, if you're running Windows 10, you are not going to receive any more feature updates. So don't think that you're going to receive any more of these updates that you see here. You are stuck with the version that you're running now, and you're not going to be able to get any more feature updates for that version of Windows. That is it. You'll get security updates, but it will be the same as it is right now until end of life. So we're going to go through seven of these new features that are coming to Windows 11. And uh, what we'll do is we'll take a look at them in more detail after today's video sponsor, CD Key Sales. Head over to their website with the links in the video description and you can create an account. Once you've created an account, do a search for the key, whether it be Windows 11 Pro or Windows 10 Pro. You can do a search for those keys. Use my promo code capital B capital R 09 and apply this to your order and that will give you a 30% discount on all your purchases. Once you submit your order, you can use PayPal to pay for your uh, purchase, and then they will send you all that information in your account. Okay, so back to the actual video here. So the first one we're going to be talking about today is the new gallery feature. If you open up Explorer, you're going to see a button here called Gallery, and you can add uh, your phone, uh, photos or you can add folder photos depending on what you want to do so let's quickly just add some in here i've got a little folder here called wallpaper we can include this folder and then we can basically uh, click on add and then when we go back and refresh this page here you should see that they've all been added in the good thing about this it adds them in as a date as you can see here 2023 and that means when you start adding stuff in into say for instance holiday or maybe some sort of celebration party or or maybe some sort of wedding you can list them all out here and it will list them out in days and uh date here and you'll be able to find them very quickly and easily and you can uh, go to your collection here show all or you can click on the actual folder with those in if you want to open them up and you can add more inside here a uh, pretty nice little feature added into uh, windows 11 and that is called the gallery and that, that will be released in 23 h2 so Let's move on to number two here. What we're going to do is go back into the settings pane. So let's click on the start button and go back into settings. Inside here, you can click on personalization. Inside personalization, you will see another area called dynamic lighting. Click on this one here, and this will open up the dynamic lighting. And this will control all of your RGB and manage it. You can see here, use dynamic lighting on my devices. Compatible apps in the background always control lighting. You can leave this on or off and you can see here background light control and you can drop this down and you can see dynamic lighting background control from here you've got your brightness here as well and you can change this uh, to your liking and you also have the effects here which is going to be the effects of that rgb lighting whether you want to choose a solid color you can choose it right here and basically you can also choose whatever like whether it be rainbow breathing and stuff like that by going over to this little drop down here breathing rainbow wave wheel and gradient these are what they've got at the moment i'm pretty sure they're going to add more to this later on down the line when you click on this this will give you the effect speed that you want to run for your rgb so if you want to make it fast you can have it breathing fast or slower you just turn the speed down and you can choose that color Really nice little unique feature here for Windows. It's just going to make it a lot more easier to be able to control all of your RGB uh, on your Windows-based system. Next up, we're going to take a look at your disks and volumes section here. As you can see, they've added in the create a virtual hard disk VHD, and you can create a dev drive right here. So when you click on these, it says attach VHD and create VHD here. You can give the virtual hard drive a name and you can give it a location. You can browse to that location to where it's stored. And you can also do virtual hard disk size here, whether you want megabytes, gigabytes, or terabytes. You can select that right here. And you can see also underneath that the virtual hard disk format. VHD supports virtual disk up to uh, 2040 gigabytes and in size. And you've got VHDX. Uh, and we also have fixed size recommended and dynamically expanding you can set that up right there so that is your settings here down below you've got the create dev drive when you click on this one here you can create a new vhd or resize an existing volume on here as well quite a nice little feature added in here and when you click on this it will take you uh, to that next 
page when you click next you can go through here and go through some of the settings that you want to set up here so really nice little added feature on there and that is the uh storage section in and it's called disks and volumes here you can just do a search for uh, disks and volumes and it will come up in your search okay so let's move on to the next one now this next one i did a video on it the other day i did a separate video just for this because i think it's a nice little added feature coming to you so in system and recovery if we look here fix problems using windows updates this will reinstall your current version of windows which is a nice added feature uh, using the windows updates here so basically what it's going to do is it lets you keep your apps files and settings on your system and it will reinstall it it's basically doing a, an in-place upgrade or a repair install as we call it and you can see if your repair solution is available we'll attempt to fix the system component corruption by reinstalling the current version of windows your apps documents and settings will be preserved so it's a really nice added feature and i think for people that have a few problems you can always use this as a, a fix uh, last chance saloon sort of thing to fix your operating system before you do a complete uh, reinstall with a USB flash drive. So next up is called Windows Backup. It's another little app they've created for you guys to back up all of your data here. As you can see, let's back up your PC. We'll back up your info into the cloud as you can have peace of mind knowing it's protected. Even if something happens to your PC, you've got your privacy statement right there. This is going to back up folders, apps, settings, and credentials. Yes, you will need a Microsoft account to use this feature. But once this is done, you click on backup now, and it will go ahead and start to back up all of those areas that you need most, which is your folders, your apps, and your settings, and your credentials, which are a lot of things that people like to keep backed up. So this is a great little added feature. And uh, Windows 11 is just getting better and better with some of the features they're adding uh, to it. And I think it's just going to get uh, better as time goes on. At least that we're getting some improvements to the operating system. I still would like to see that start menu uh, adjusted, but maybe that will come in the future. Inside Microsoft Store, we have another area, which is all your AI apps. They've added all of these into one location, as you can see here. And this will just give you ease of access to all that. AI technology and if you want to use any of these they'll all be listed in this little location here which I think makes it easier to find uh, these applications and get them installed and use them uh, to your benefit so pretty decent little uh, added feature there from Microsoft so we'll see what happens in the future I think uh, Windows 11 still got a few more uh, things they can do with it before they possibly may bring out the next operating system if they are going to be bringing out Windows 12, we'll soon find out in the foreseeable future. Anyway, with that said, my name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Hope you enjoyed the video. I just want to say a quick shout out to all my YouTube members, whether you're tier one, tier two, or tier three. I really do appreciate the support, and I shall catch you in the very next video, or I'll see you on the Discord server for a chat. Thanks again for watching. Bye for now.